So yesterday when I was practicing this talk and stumbling through it a little bit, Chris Anderson stood up and gave me the piece of advice that it was all about the human connection. It was about the making the communications between us valuable. It was about my demeanor, my candor, my, my tone, and my openness, just as much as it was about the words that I'm speaking. Uh, what's amazing is our ability to perceive light and sound in a way that carries meaning more than just the raw words I'm saying. And so what I'm really excited about is that the advancements in our ability to digitally control light and sound, which we find so valuable, has brought us to a point where we can begin to make our devices, our TVs, our LED bulbs, our cell phones and tablets, communicate on the same medium that we do on light and sound. So the trick here is that our devices perceive the world differently than we do as humans. In the same way that a dog can hear things we can't, our cell phones, our microphones and cameras can see and listen to things that we can't detect. So what we can do is we can build LED bulbs that flicker so fast humans don't see any flashing, but our cameras do, and on those flashings it can embed invisible data. We can make TVs that emit data so subtly on light and sound that we can't perceive that we don't determine any difference in our experience, but our cameras do. And so without changing the human experience, we can embed data on the light and sound we already consume. So we need to get rid of this idea that radio is the only way to communicate across a distance. A technology that was designed at a different time for a different set of purposes, a century-old solution that's left us with the legacy where communicating bits with the person next to you may be harder than communicating them with someone across the world. A legacy that by its physics requires regulation, the effect of which is that to innovate with radio, to change the world, to get your name on this complex spectrum map, you need enormous amounts of capital just to be at the table. And so you can't innovate with radio, you can't think outside the box, it's against the law. So what about perceptible communications? What about communications that uses the light and sound humans do and can be perceived by both us and our devices? Communication that's inherently local, it's based on proximity and directionality, so there's no government or carriers to intercept the bits, to acknowledge the receipt or to e enable the receipt of bits. It's communications on the human scale. What we can do and what we've begun to do is embedding bits in the light and sound that we're already emitting in our world. So we can make an ambulance whose siren emits embedded data invisibly. So we still hear the siren, we still hear the alarm, but what our phones hear, our phones hear all the extra, our phones here, whether it's a bio threat and you need to stay away or that it was a stab victim and they need blood donors to block down. We can embed invisible bits in our Jumbotron screen so that they stream replays to the 15,000 fans in the audience. So we can't even get Wi-Fi to work in conferences of a couple hundred people as Steve Jobs famously showed us when he had to ask his audience members to turn off Wi-Fi so he could demo the iPad. But what we do have is a solution to get light and sound to those same 15,000 fans in the stadium. So let's piggyback. We can domesticate the phonons and photons coming from these screens and sound systems to provide a service for our devices as well as our eyes and ears. We can make an indoor positioning system that uses LED bulbs in the ceiling like our GPS system uses satellites in the sky. So when you're in a museum, the light above you is telling you where you are and what you're looking at. We can let our cities tell stories. We can use the lights from these buildings to emit data to tell a story about the building, its history, its tenants, something going on in the next day or tomorrow. The point is we can do all these applications and more that we haven't even touched the surface of. It's up to you. It's up to you as the owner of the device that emits that light or sound. And so let's begin this transition. It's not science fiction. We've begun to build these systems. So in our mind, let's switch away from radio and let's start to understand that light and sound can be both for us and devices. Let's make digital communications a bit more human. Thank you.